Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the air induction system. How the air is inducted into the engine cylinder. So here we have a air snorkel. The air snorkel consists of net structures through which the large dust particles are are restricted to enter into the hose pipe. After this air snorkel, air is thrown into the air cleaner. The air cleaner, which is also called as an air filter, in the air cleaner, the small dust particles are absorbed. After the air cleaner, the air goes to the resonator. The resonator reduces the sound produced by the air rubbing of the air cleaner due to engine vacuum. If there is a high engine vacuum produced in the engine, then high amount of the noise will be produced. That's why we need all the resonator. The resonator reduces that noise. After this resonator, the turbocharger sucks the air from the resonator. With the help of the centrifugal compressor. If you want to learn about the turbocharger, I have another video on turbocharger. You can watch that. With the help of the centrifugal compressor, it sucks the air and increase the pressure and also increase the temperature of the air. So we need some cooling for that air. That's why we need of the air intercooler. With the help of the intercooler, the air's temperature is reduces. The intercooler, you can see intercooler in the front of the radiator in every vehicles. With this, the high temperature air High, high temperature air reduce its temperature about atmospheric temperature. After this intercooler, the air is goes to the inlet manifold. The inlet manifold sends the air into the different different cylinders. With the help of the inlet manifold, we, we can throw the, air, the fresh charge into the cylinder. And the combustion takes place with the help of this in uh, with the help of this air induction system our combustion process are done so this is the air induction system if you like this video feel free to share and subscribe thank you